Jesu. Amin. Loru ka Jesu. Amin. Olorun oba wa. Gege bi Olorun ni teko. Ope ati eyin la fun o. Fun eyin rere ayo. Oluwa gbo pe wa. Amin. Oluwa eyin rere Nana ko to ni In rere alaafia re Olaje oye wa si Amin Nana gba to ba ye wa si Ka fa yo ba si Amin Nana aye wa Ayo in rere Ko lagba la si Amin Ba ne ko li oluwa Amin Amin rere wa gbe wa wo Amin Amin so ji be wa wo Amin A ko ni ninu kan wa fi ayo se Amin Be ni ko ri Amin Loruko Jesu Kristi Oluwa wa Amin Ogo ni falanwa ba yin rere Hallelujah Glory be to God The King of the Gospel Akure eko wante se waju We want to continue On the topic of our teaching Titi pada wa uluwa ba la fia Till the coming Of the Lord The King of Peace the gospel of the kingdom of God is the peace of all men in the world. And as we emphasize every week, the gospel of the kingdom of God must be the peace of all men in the world. Till the king of the gospel will come down to the earth to establish his kingdom of peace. What is the gospel? which makes it the peace of all men in the world we want to read some bible portions so that will help you more on what the gospel is that till the king of glory will come back to establish his 1000 year reign a kingdom of absolute peace that the gospel will be the peace of all men in the world anyone who accepts the gospel accepts the peace of God I said we want to read some Bible references where we shall see that the gospel will be the peace of all men in the world Till the king of the gospel will come to establish his kingdom of peace. In the Bible references that we are going to read, we shall see that the word of God, which made all human beings, came to this world wearing human body. He came to call us sons of men to himself. 
He said, I your maker, I'm calling you. I have a come to save your souls. That you may become saved. So that you will accept from me everlasting life. I have a kingdom. It's an everlasting, unending kingdom which I want you to be with me in. Let's start with the gospel of Saint Mark. That when he came to this world, he went everywhere, calling men to himself. Mark chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. Yes, Jesus was in Galilee. Yes. Oh, we have so a hereere job on loan. Yes. Oh, see, we pay. Yes. Ah, come on, Ade. Yes. A job on loan, oh, see, consider that. Yes. Eh, no, no, we wada. Yes. Yes, it's bad. A hereere go. Eh, you know, hereere ma kuri kene. Eh, say kene na te kedo. That's the Gospel of Saint Mark, chapter one, verses fourteen and fifteen. The king of peace went about calling men to himself. What was he calling them for? He told them that the kingdom of God was at end. And because of that, he told them repent to me change to me and believe the gospel come to me come and accept my gospel because my kingdom that is imminent now it is the gospel that will qualify you for the kingdom. God the world who made us sons of men. Or the world which God spoke by which he made us sons of men. Or and God said which made us sons of men was the one who was calling men to himself to partake of his kingdom which was imminent then that is the good news that is the gospel the word of God that made man was calling men to himself so that they would reign with him. You son of man, you are dust, and you will return to dust, which you pronounced in Genesis. When Adam sinned against him, now as the lamb who came to take away the sins of men he was proclaiming forgiveness of sin you son of man come to me come and accept me so that you will reign with me certainly certainly that was the voice of the peace of God which sounded to man and till today it is still the same voice that continues to sound the proclamation of the salvation of souls 
to those who don't want to perish the proclamation of the forgiveness brought by the savior for those who the Adamic saint will not ascend to the lake of a fire another witness that calling men to the king of peace that we may reign with him is the gospel in the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians what we read in Mark he corroborated it that when the king of heaven came when he made himself the sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin for all men he was going on about preaching peace to all men the peace of God is the gospel in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 13 and 14 Shuboni sisi yi Yes Nino Christi Jesu Yes E nyiti oti jina rere nigwa ati jari Yes Ni amusu moto si Yes Ni pa eje Christi Paul said now you who are Gentiles so that were far off from God you Gentiles that lacked God in times past now God has brought you to himself through the sacrifice that the Savior made on the cross with himself the word of God who came as the Lamb of God that was made a sacrifice for your sin the sacrifice that would not make you die again that Lamb has called you now to God and because of this the lamb who made himself your sacrifice so that God will no more be happy with you that you might become God's children who would reign with God he has become your peace therefore once you accept the lamb who was offered for your sins it is peace from God that you receive the gospel is the peace of God for all men now verse 14 Nitori ohun ni alaafia wa leko si Nitori ohun ni alaafia wa leko si Nitori ohun ni alaafia wa Paul so ni pa emi memo Paul by the spirit of God said that the word of God tabi Olorun oro or God the world to wa ye bi eni who came to the world as man ti asurubo who was offered for the sins of men that men would no longer perish he is the peace of all men the gospel is the peace of all men in the world all over the world wherever darkness wherever we preach that men come and believe in Jesus the Savior so that you will receive forgiveness of sin and you will reign with God it is peace that is being preached to them 
It is into that peace of God they are being called to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this same chapter, Paul Paul continues that saying we read in Mark chapter 1 earlier verses 14 and 15. He corroborates it further that when the lamb came he went about to preach peace that is when the Savior came and was going about preaching, it was peace that he was preaching. Because he was calling men into re- reconciliation with himself. You son of man, I'm angry with you. And I place destructive dust on you. You are dust. You are dust. And you will become dust. He was canceling that. And began to say, My kingdom is imminent. Now stop going down into the dust. But come and partake of my kingdom. Come and hear my preachings, which I call the gospel. Come and believe it, so that you will reign with me. So that was peace that it was preaching. He did not preach his anger in the Garden of Eden again. Let's now read that Ephesians. Where Paul says, The Lord was going about preaching peace. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 17 the Lord came and you Gentiles were far off he preached peace to you yes and we who are Jews among whom he preached we who are Jews in whose country he preached he also preached peace to us hallelujah so that God will reign with us as the angels sang in Luke chapter 2 verses 13 and 14 glory be to God in, in heaven and the peace of God has come down into the world the anger of God that the past over all men is cancelled. God has come to show his kindness to men. In Ephesians, the Apostle Paul says the word of God who is God in the world. That's John chapter 1 verse 1 came to the world and he preached peace to all men you who can hear us you have to reject the peace of God please believe the gospel accept Jesus the Lord as your Lord and Savior and follow him to the end learn his words to the end belong to him to the end day by day right from here until you get to heaven that the peace of God may become yours 
Others, what you? We want to continue. No, no, in our explanation Indeed. on the reason that gospel is the peace of all men in the world till the king of peace will come to so establish his kingdom of peace Paul, this same Paul also said in 1st Thessalonians chapter 2 Verse 12. That the king of heaven came to call us sons of men. To his everlasting glory and the kingdom. And that is also peace. People come to me. I, God have a glory it's an everlasting glory I want you to partake of it the Adamic cause is gone because that was the forgiveness of sin speaking the Adamic cause is gone because the word of God that God spoke to make Adam that God spoke to make all men who placed that cause on Adam in the garden of Eden was the one who came as that lamb and who carried away the sins of Adam and all his children away. First Thessalonians chapter 2. He came to call us to his everlasting glory. And his everlasting kingdom. You who hear the gospel of Jesus. And you accept him as your Lord and Savior. God has called you to his everlasting glory. That means you hear the call of God. You are watching for the return of the Lord. He is coming with his glory so that you partake of it. You who hear the gospel accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior once you hear that and you are baptized that is you make a covenant with the Lord that in living and in dying you belong to him forever then you have come to accept the everlasting kingdom God calls you to his everlasting kingdom and you answer his call you make a kingdom covenant with God forever and God does not betray when he comes with his kingdom once you do not break your vow once you belong to him to the end you will certainly reign with him forever Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12 oh yeah yes and it's your queen. Yes. Sinu ijoba ati ogo on ti kara re. Mekasi. Ki anye ki o le mare ne yi yi alono. Yes. And it's your queen. Yes. Sinu ijoba ati ogo on ti kara re. Ben it wano na wi. And that's what John also said. That is the question in Orowa. In the beginning was the world. Orowa kwe lu alono. The world was with God and the world was God that's John chapter 1 verse 1 verse 3 says this word of God God spoke to make all things asides the things made by the word of God nothing else exists if 
John chapter 1 verse 14 the Bible says this word of God who was in God since that time God had been which God spoke to make all things it was the word who came to the world as man and dwelt among us sons of men what are we saying we are saying that the word of God who came to the world as son Paul says it was he who came to call us to his own kingdom and glory as we have read in 1st Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12 the gospel means that the God of heaven who came as man came to call us human beings to his everlasting kingdom and glory let's see more of the meaning of the gospel in another bible reference that God came to call us human beings to himself that he has forgiven us of our sins and that we should come back to him he said it by himself in the gospel of John chapter 12 verse 32 that when he would die on the cross all children of Adam we sons of men on whom he has placed the curse of death who he expelled from the garden of Eden he said he would bring us all back to himself being called back to our God is the gospel all of us who have believed in Jesus as our Lord and Savior and we have been baptized and we are learning the teachings of Jesus and we say we have accepted the gospel we have come back to our God but we are left with one thing we must be steadfast in the faith to the end till the Lord will come the kingdom which he has called us to we will reign with him for 1000 years and we will reign with him eternally now read John where the king has said when he died on the cross and he made himself the sacrifice for the sin of men all those who would believe in him would receive forgiveness of sins and they would return they would come back to him John chapter 12 verse 32 yes 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 Yes. 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 Okay, when you always see, how would he be lifted up? How come I believe he would be nailed to the cross? Latigi, Yakosu Kofu, Sabuba, one in to suffer and die for the sins of humanity so that it would be the forgiveness of our sins we will believe in him that we may come back to God 
Father to Lord, and they belong to God, Adam Lord, and they become children of God. Right from this world, read the verse thirty-three. Shoba uye yi, yes. On shakere iru ikuti oroku. Lekasi. Shoba uye yi, yes. On shakere iru ikuti oroku. John says, When the Lord said, in verse 32, that when he was lifted up away from the earth, all men he would draw to himself. John then explains. That he would die on the cross. So that we sons of men might receive forgiveness of sins. And that we may come back to God. Was what he meant. That we should come back to God. Say my God. Right from today. I gave myself to you. Mother, I become yours. Doluwa me. Become my Lord. Doluwa la me. Be my Savior. Emina dama re. And I become your child. Oni lele. That is the meaning of the gospel. Alone. God. Nibo kwatu aye me. For the rest of my life. I have no other program aside see you. I won't stop following you. I will follow you through until the end of my life comes. Like that criminal on the cross. I believe in you. That you came to save me. I believe in you. That it's my sins. That nailed you to the cross. Lord, I too believe in you. That you have a kingdom. And I desire to be with you in the kingdom. Please permit me to be with you in the kingdom. That is the gospel that you have accepted. And for the rest of your life, then you belong to God, the King. You are watching for the coming of the King. So that when He comes, you will reign with Him. You receive everlasting joy. Anyone who is watching for the coming of God the King, that God the King should come and cover him with his glory as God, and that he should reign with him in his kingdom eternally. That is everlasting joy that he receives oh. according to the saying of the angel of the Lord. In Luke chapter 2, verses 10 and 11, the Lord came to the world as the Savior. Anyone who accepts the Lord as his Savior accepts good news of great joy till the coming of the Lord to establish his kingdom of peace this gospel which is the program of God for all men which is the program of coming back to our God and belong to him till the end of our lives is the peace of all men the gospel is not a religion it is quite different from all religions in the world the gospel is that God is calling all men to himself. 
The gospel is that God is calling all men to himself. Whatever religion anyone practices, 
If he doesn't heed the call of God, if he doesn't come to accept Jesus as his Savior, that Jesus, you the world inside of God, by whom God made me as man, I come to you to accept you so that you will be the Lord of my life and deliver me from eternal perdition I am a dead you are the king of life whatever religion I am practicing I am a dead no religion will deliver me from death death will eventually destroy me whatever church I attend will not deliver me from death death will eventually destroy me it's like a book the book says certainly all men will taste death but we like us. I say it again when are we that book says that you, that you, certainly all men will taste death and if death marks the end of my life I won't come up to you in heaven heaven is the land of life and you are the living God if my life hangs in death hell and land of the dead there I will go to therefore you king of life you who will give life to me I come to you so that you will be my everlasting life so that you will be my eternal life anyone who eats the call of God in that manner he accepts good news of great joy right from this world until eternity will come he is at peace with God the king God will no more be angry with him calling men to the Lord for salvation when it is time in the presence of the Lord that the program is consummated the gospel of the, the program of the gospel the program of calling all men to God for salvation that it has come to its end it is then that the Lord will catch us up children of salvation so that we go to prepare for the kingdom as we have said last week all those who will remain on the earth then who don't accept the gospel of peace it is when the king comes for the 1000 year reign that they will know peace again that is those who the king will find on the earth those who the antichrist and the angels of the king will not have destroyed according to the topic of our teaching so the king of peace will come to establish his kingdom the gospel of the kingdom of God is the peace of all men next week we will add more bible references so that we understand more the meaning of the gospel that calling men to God is the gospel then we shall begin to read the bible references that will reveal that those who refuse who don't answer 
God now to come to him and belong to him when his call to that gospel ends then he will take away the peace of God from them according to that topic of till the coming of the Lord those of us who have had today's message may the Lord help us now that we have heard that God is calling us to himself is the meaning of the gospel we have answered the call may we have stopped following him we know to destruction those who are yet to hear this call in the name of Jesus may you come to him today in the name of Jesus our Lord and Savior Amen
pe Christi la ti mu e ko ti e sese boko yi wa se ti do ni oni wa su yin ni olusa gbogbo je o oludare oni ijo wa wa ni poko na ile sha si ilu akure lati ma won ibi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife ibadan akure eko ikare adu ekiti atawon ilu mira e fi atedi se yanse si odo ejo o kan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won e ta aro ati o kan e dara po mo wa fun wakati ere ayo on la lasiko yi kan na lo se tun bo